Good morning, New Beginnings. It's me, Pastor Danish House. Today is Friday, November 24th, 2023. Thank you so much for joining me for this daily update and devotional video. I'm glad you decided to make me part of your life today, and I'm delighted that you're part of my life as well. It's Black Friday today. This is the day of all the big sales, although it's become Black Friday week and Black Friday month. I don't even know what it is anymore. Uh, there's not any Young Adults Fellowship tonight uh, because of the Thanksgiving holiday. Tomorrow, no events are scheduled, but on Sunday, we have our normal Sunday schedule, adult Bible study in the book of Romans at 9, the prayer meeting also at 9, our Sunday morning service at 10. I'm preaching a PS on the sermon series about the end times. Uh, after church, there is our Exploring Church membership class, which is a time for folks who are uh, maybe newcomers to New Beginnings or haven't ever become members to explore what membership might mean and have the opportunity to apply for membership to the church. And at 4.30 in the afternoon is our Advent Choir rehearsal. Um, I thought I'd do a special devotional today about Black Friday. Um, this is a day that is, uh, you know, traditionally a shopping day. The first, the day after Thanksgiving, traditionally a shopping day for folks to go out and try to find that hard to find gift at a really good price for your loved ones. Um, there can be a lot of chaos today um, and there can be a lot of searching for the best possible deal so that you can uh, provide for some sort of nice gift for someone that you love. And of course, there's gonna be Cyber Monday on Monday where there are gonna be deals online, um, which again, stretches now over a long period of time. And anyway, whatever it is, uh, it's, it's seeking to get the best possible deal. So. Have I got a deal for you? Uh, I thought I would give you New Beginnings Christian and Missionary Alliance Church's a special Black Friday deal. So hang on to your hats. I, I'm really excited about this deal. We talked about it at, uh, at among the leaders, and we think this is the best deal you're going to get this year. Um, Isaiah 55, verses 1 through 3. Come, everyone who thirsts, come to the waters. And he who has no money... Come buy and eat. Come buy wine and milk without money and without price. Why do you spend your money for that which is not bread and your labor for that which does not satisfy? Listen diligently to me and eat what is good and delight yourselves in rich food. Incline your ear and come to me here that your soul may live and I'll make with you an everlasting covenant, my steadfast, sure love for David. I love this passage. It's, uh, there's a number of worship songs from my youth that sort of are, are based out of this, this passage. Um, I love it because it, it's a food-loving passage. I'm a food-loving guy. Um, but I love it especially because of the spiritual meaning that it has. And that is that it pointing out that the things that we buy, even today on Black Friday or on Cyber Monday, uh, those things ultimately don't satisfy if we're spending our lives, if we're spending our labor on the things that don't satisfy, it's going to lead to a life that feels empty and hollow and doesn't actually accomplish what we hope that our lives will accomplish, which is to have a life of, of meaning, significance, and a life where uh, important things happen in us and important things happen through us. Instead, uh, God calls to all of us through this passage and urges us to come to him and buy what we truly need. What he calls wine, milk, and honey. Um, and the, the kicker is that he offers it at a tremendous price. Uh, free. <laughs> all you need to do is come to him. That's it. If you come to God... All of the blessings that he has for you are available to you. And those blessings are free. It doesn't cost you a penny. Um, the blessings that God offers, you know, there is a cost. The cost is the cost of your own life. Um, but what you get in return is eternal life. What you get in return is eternal blessing. Um, if... I offered you a $5 bill in exchange for your $1 bill. Would you consider that a costly trade? 
No, right? I'm offering you a fiver, you're giving me a one, you've made out in the deal, right? Um, that's the way the situation is here. God says, look, come buy from me the things that you need at no price. The only thing it requires is to come to me. Now, when you come to God, you give him your life, but he gives you back your life and more in exchange. So the cost here is is a negative cost, right? It, it, it is, it's actually a profit. Come to God and buy what you need. Brother, sister, you're within the sound of my voice right now. I'm going to guarantee you one thing. Uh, at some point in your life, some place in your current everyday life right now, you are pursuing something that does not satisfy. And you're suspecting that it doesn't satisfy. In your heart, you're thinking, eh, I don't know if this is really going to make a difference. Um, in fact, you've had enough experience that you know that it's not going to make the difference, that it's not going to fill the hole that you want to fill. What you need is a relationship with God, a, a relationship with God that's, that fills you and satisfies you. You need a relationship with God that spills out in love towards your neighbor, in serving uh, those around you with love and compassion and kindness. That's what you need, and that's what's going to satisfy your soul. That's going to be the wine, milk, and honey that is rich food that satisfies your soul. Yesterday was Thanksgiving. Um, I hope that you had an awesome uh, time of, of eatery yesterday. I hope that you had your turkey and your stuffing and your cranberries and your green beans and sweet potatoes and pie and all that stuff. And I don't know if that's what your family eats, that's what my family eats. For me, it's a wonderful meal. It's the kind of meal where you sort of push back from the table and you're like, okay, glad I did that. Um, that's the kind of meal that God offers you every day. A satisfying meal of following him and, and receiving and pouring out the love of God in your life. And he says, come get it from me. All you got to do is come. All you got to do is come to me. Brother, sister, person within the sound of my voice, I love you and I want to see you have that relationship with God, a relationship with God that, that meets the needs that you have and through you meets the needs that other people have as well. Will you pray with me? Heavenly Father, thank you so much for this day. Thank you for your love for us. Thank you that in your love for us, you offer what we truly need at no cost. I pray that those within the sound of my voice today, they have a great Black Friday and even be able to find the things they want to give to their friends and family. But Lord, I pray above all that they would find in you the satisfaction and the love that they're longing for. Uh, Lord, may they not turn their back on this offer that you have. And it's not just a one day only offer, but this offer is available every day so long as they live. I pray that they would reach out to you and say yes today and every day. Please, Lord, bless uh, everyone in the sound of my voice. I pray for a blessing on our service on Sunday, uh, the Romans Bible study, uh, our prayer meeting, and the membership class, the Advent rehearsal. I pray for all of this, that it would go well, and that you would be blessed and glorified, that we would be blessed by being with you and with your people. In Jesus' mighty name I pray. Amen. Hey, thank you so much for joining me for this daily update and devotional video. I love you, New Beginnings, and I look forward to talking to you again tomorrow.